and welcome to the Church of You. Yes, welcome to church. It is Sunday. It is Sunday, yes. This church is dedicated to ourselves because we are the gods now. Yes, we are. Yes. I'm your pastor, Pastor Sai. Praise me. Praise us. Praise us. Let's review the trash that trended online in the past day and try to gain some wisdom from it together. Oh, we will try, but we will see if we can even gain any wisdom. Sometimes we do not. Sometimes we get dumber. It all depends on what day and what we're looking at. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's on to the first one. Mm. Hate church called for death to gay people. Now they're getting what they deserve. Oh, we like that second part of that sentence, but oh my goodness, what is happening here? Oh, man. I hate that we live in a world where people preach to hate anyone generally. Oh, it's so true. I hate seeing this, folks. Why do we see this? This is insane. Yes. As if one group of people all just deserve hate. No, that is never how it works, folks. Never how anything works. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is a disgusting and frankly disgraceful mindset. So true. So true. Apparently, this church hates gay people so much, they call for them to be killed? Are you kidding me? What? What is happening? That is gross. Almost unbelievable. But then we remember how hateful and trashy people can be in this world. And sadly, it is true. And sadly, they know who they are, and they don't change their ways. Oh, they know. They do this crap, and they know. Gross. Specifically, let's go through some of Pastor Jonathan Shelley's statements, because truly, they are the words of an unhinged and despicable man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's take a look. Mm, first of all, <laughs> I love the picture they, they picked. I so support this picture. It looks like this man is taking a, a number two. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at that. A plus screenshotting from the folks here at LGBTQ Nation. We support them. We do. We do. We hate this man. Okay. Um, this church has made headlines for his extremist rhetoric, which includes using anti-gay slurs at the pulpit and calling for death to LG LGBTQ people. And, you know, it's great when trucks accidentally go through those, you know, parades. Said Pastor Jonathan Shelley said about a car that drove through the Wilton Manor's Pride Parade, killing a 75-year-old gay man. Oh, my God. I don't think I can read. I was going to read a bunch of this. I can't read it. Listen, it's all the same. This guy is disgusting. What is happening? What is happening? Like, I'm not, I'm, I was going to read it, and I'm not even going to read it now. No. Mm-mm. Uh, this guy is terrible, and I'm sick of this. And, you know, most people are sick of this, but, like, you just can't believe when you see it, you know? The good news is people have recognized this is way beyond the pale. And they are getting evicted from their church premises, hence the second half of the title. Oh, yes, we like that. We like that. The, 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 the tricky thing is, it's the real world, right? And as gross as this man and his church are, effing disgusting, uh, they have every right to say what they want. Words are not actual violence, unfortunately. But there will be and always should be societal consequences, which are good. Yes, as Russia is kind of learning with some things as well. Societal consequences to being evil. Yes. Uh, that way we can keep people on the fringe like this as much as possible. Yes, yes. But yeah, this is disgusting. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, moving on. 